The Buzz, Australia's only live, interactive social media program on free-to-air TV, is proudly brought to you by Zetagrid, Australia's award-winning provider of on-demand IT infrastructure for businesses that want reliability, speed and flexibility. Welcome back to The Buzz. Great to have your company this evening. Hashtag The Buzz if you want to join us on Twitter or perhaps even get your tweets on screen. We've actually got some tweets. Oh, we do. Uh, first one, Richard Baird says, balls and washing machines just don't mix. Uh, Karma Levine says, $4 per week for Perth now. No thanks. No. Uh, Michael Gosney says, nope, never paying online for news. Um, Henry reckons that News Limited dogs are buzzing on amphetamines. Oh, what does that even mean? mean? <laughs> Henry, we've had a couple of scotches before the show again tonight, haven't you? Um, and Claire Barton says, I used to use Instagram, but the phase blew over. Might have a look at Vine. And a couple saying they don't use Vine or Instagram. Mm. Uh, and Carl, poor thing, missed the start of the buzz. He's got to watch that online. Uh, well, you can Thursday. watch it online. We do upload them onto YouTube as well. So mm. there you go. Now, if you run a pizza place and you'd like to get a bit of a shout out here oh, on yeah. the buzz, by all means, get in contact with us. We're and, hungry. Uh, not only will we be eating your pizza during yeah. the break and perhaps during the show if we're yeah. really hungry, but we'll also give some away. And that could be, uh, well, worth some dollars to you Look, as well. So there I you go. Shout out for pizzas. Jason's fetish about putting pizza down his underpants. Uh, because Shh, no, stop it. stop it! Don't tell them about that. I know it's very awkward. All right, uh, time for us to do an app review. And uh, Dig is one of my favourite websites. And Candice, there's an app now for it. There is. Dig is also one of my favourite websites. It's a bit of a you know, it pulls in news articles from a whole bunch of different sources, and it's not just you know your mainstream news. It's certainly not your breaking news. It's a it's a real range of stuff. So taking a look at the app, which which directly feeds from from the homepage, but is a little easier to use when when you're using your mobile. Uh, we've got an article here from BuzzFeed, Texas Monthly, because why not? National Geographic, uh, India Times, and then I saw one earlier, ModernFarmer.com, because why not? Modern farmer, you know, talking about snails. Just because, you know, why not? The panic of snails, no less. <laughs> snails, the panic. Snails. Oh, snails. Snails. snails, the world over are panicking. <laughs> they move so quickly, those things, oh. let me tell you. Um, well, DIGG, D -I -G -G, wonderful app to complement, a wonderful website. Uh, perfect kind of thing if, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're hitting the snooze for 15 minutes or so and you're kind of in that transition period for when you're waking up to awake. But it's you a just democratic app at. as well, isn't it? Because you can vote on articles and they go up and down. Absolutely. So you can dig things very similar to a Facebook like, or you can not dig things, which is what we were all hoping for in an unlike feature on, on Facebook. The most digged articles are sent to the top and the least digged are sent to the bottom. So you, it's kind of quality control there as well. It's, it's a really good system and a really great app and it's free. So, you know, you, you normally, normally you get what you pay for, but this is really great. If, you, if you're looking for an alternative to, uh, to the paywall news sites and you don't really care about breaking or local news, <laughs> then take a look at DIG, D-I-G-G. -G. You can download it on the App Store. I'm going to give this one a buzz factor of 8 out of 10. Ooh, uh, something else which is really cool is this video of Iceland. See what I did there? Oh. set up. How? Because he was juggling oranges and you can't get oranges in Iceland. Oh, boom. They have Tish, no, no orange trees you, in did, Iceland. Did you just think of that one? No, I prepared it earlier. <laughs> Let's tick that joke <laughs> off my list. Uh, Scribble that like one out now. That's gone. All right. Now, uh, you wanted to talk about something incredibly boring. Did I? App development changes. Look, I don't know why I wanted I'll have to a talk about while this. You're doing this. Uh, the reason is I, I felt it was probably important for people that run pages on Facebook, like mm. uh, the Perth WA memes one, mm. public transport exposed. I mean, these are very popular pages. Lots of people log into them. Lots of people follow them. Uh, the developer, uh, Facebook and the developers are making changes ah. uh, to the thing. So I've got a page, so I'm glad you told me this. Well, absolutely. And I went to have a look mm. at this and see what some of these changes were. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I scrolled down, I suddenly oh, became uh, very aware of the fact that I know nothing 
about what on earth is going on with this. Mm. Uh, but luckily we spoke to Candice and uh, Candice, you have a clearer idea as to what's going on. Bring it on. Only slightly. Basically what it's going to tell you is that the templates that you once used to create apps on your Facebook pages will soon no longer be supported by Facebook. Surprise, surprise, because Facebook can't make any money out of it. So for someone like me who had a Facebook you know, page set up once upon a time and used an app to, to collect comments or collect, you know, feedback, um, which I did through just a free template with a little addendum on the bottom saying template created by XYZ, um, that would no longer work. Uh, oh. and, and in fact, my Facebook page would become broken. Oh. These days, and with these changes, you do kind of require a little bit of developer knowledge in order to do it. So they're really encouraging people with a little bit of know-how to engage with Facebook. Do you know what my page is called? Uh, Mine's called Dobby in a Dickhead. Uh, and it's just lots of people writing your name? <laughs> oh. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's all about people who are hooning or speeding yeah. or, or like you yeah. with your motorbike cutting through the yeah. middle of traffic. That's like, legal, by the way. I don't. Anyway. You're allowed to do that. Really? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. But um, you can still do it like a dickhead, though. Yeah, 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 you can. Uh, anyway, uh, moving right along. Now, uh, Candice. No. Are you pregnant? Hell no. Are you sure? Pretty sure, I mean. Really, really sure? <laughs> yeah, 100% sure. Because I'm kind of thinking that this next app review is a dead giveaway. Well, it's not a dead giveaway. It's just a marketing campaign that I really have quite enjoyed. Evian is, you know, as you know, one of the world's biggest producers of bottled water because we can't get that stuff from the tap or anything. Anyway, they do it really, really well, and their latest campaign struck a nerve with a lot of people. The videos went viral. Uh, you know, it was people drinking Evian water, surprise, surprise, walking past a, you know, a reflective surface and seeing themselves as little vibrant little dancing babies, just having a great time living life, all of that kind of thing. Quite an innovative campaign and one that's very popular. Now, like a lot of companies with great campaigns, they try and back it up with an app to support it. Unfortunately, this is one of the biggest app fails I've seen in a long, long time and very surprising for a company as big as Evian. Basically, what this app is supposed to do, it's called Baby and Me, Reloaded. I don't know why it's reloaded, but it is. You could take a picture of yourself or choose a picture of yourself. It would analyse your face in some way and match you against one of the babies that they've used in the campaign. So it's kind of along the veins of, you know, not ageing yourself, but kind of reversing that process, youthifying yourself Finding out what you'd look like as a baby if you don't have any baby pictures at home. It was a cute idea, so I took a look, and it is one of the most downloaded apps around at the moment. The problem is it's riddled with bugs, and I've tried it on four different iPhones. This one I've got here is Jason's iPhone. It's running iOS 7, it's an iPhone 5, so it's really it's at the upper end of things, and I still can't get it to work. My iPhone, a little bit more dinosaur, still can't get it to work on that. And that's reflected by the number of reviews. It's a, it's a one-star review on the App Store at the moment, and people just pages and pages and pages of people can't get this app to work. And I'm going to show you a little bit. Here's, here's a picture I took earlier. Yes, my face is a little bit skew with, but that shouldn't really make too much of a difference. Choose your skin tone, choose your eye type. And it just kind of hits this screen for ages before telling you it fails. Now, I'm not going to sit through this whole entire process because, honestly, it's painful. I'm giving this app a buzz... Oh, there, there we go. go. There it we broke. go. Oops. It's broken. Hey. Just like everyone else. Uh, Candice. Yes. That name at the top there, Evian. Yes. You know what it is if you say it backwards? Naive. Yeah. Very good. Very yes. good. Well, Candice, how can you give an app that doesn't work one point? Well... It opens. <laughs> it opens. And it, and it took me into part of it, and I liked the, I liked the ad campaign. So I'm going to give it a one, but don't yeah. download it. It's absolutely rubbish. And hopefully we'll have an update in a few weeks' time saying that it's excellent. In the meantime, here's the best TV exit ever. <laughs> Guys, I don't care how tough you think you are, nothing hits harder than life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Okay? And don't be pointing fingers saying, I'm not where I need to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. There was a hell of a package waggling in those shorts. Now, my body looks like that underneath this shirt. 
Yeah, it looked a little bit like it. A, a bit. And it's got skin and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's got skin and nipples. Yeah. I've got chest hair. He doesn't have any of that. So that's that's one up for me. Okay. Mm. Get it out. Show us. Yeah, I don't no, believe No, that's you. not going to happen. Come on. Show us your six pack. Hash it's not. It's a keg. Hashtag stand with Wendy. Do you know what that's all about? Uh, well, look, I didn't until you told me. Mm. Uh, I do now, though. It's Brilliant. about a, a Wendy who stood for a long time. She did stand for a long time in defence of women's rights and a woman's right to choose. And because we should probably have a woman speak about that, let's go <laughs> back to Candace. Not the right of the child, though. Oh, shut up. When we talk about a woman's right to choose, we're not talking about the right to choose what you're wearing in the morning or choose what to cook for dinner in the evening. We're talking about a woman's right to choose whether or not to continue with a pregnancy that she may not feel comfortable continuing. Now, it's a very, very touchy issue, so we're not going to you know, harp on about people's opinions. Other than the fact that Texas, the state in the United States, we're debating a bill... Uh, a arguing whether to shut down a number of different services. So in order to overcome that, this woman, Wendy, went on what we call a filibuster, where she stood for something like 13 hours until the bill expired. There's a time limit on these bills, and she actually spoke for 13 hours so long that the bill actually expired and was no longer able to be debated. And so the rights of many, many women in Texas are protected. And we're talking about this because this is a bit of a social media event it was, as well. It was huge. Because yeah, it, the hashtag went just, nuts. As the more she spoke, the more mm. tweeting went yep. on, yep. In, I guess, in support. And, you know, I think Twitter itself tends to be fairly progressive in its views. And so there was just a lot of people showing a lot of support and a very small amount of people trying to argue the point. But at the end of the day... Um, you know, depending on your perspective, Wendy did a fantastic job in standing up for so very long and achieving her objective. Was she wearing a nappy? No, no, not as far as I know. She was wearing some very expensive sneakers, though, which okay. is unusual footwear to wear yeah. in the house. Standing for 13 hours and talking is a reasonable effort. Would you think maybe she'd tried some pseudoephedrine to, uh, to clear up her blocked nose and to keep her... Well, she, she maybe did. Anyway. And speaking of drugs, yes. I wonder if these children are on drugs. I think so. wrong with that you'll notice that they did it wrong for those playing at home and those who know their metal it's not that that if you do that at a metal gig you're in trouble it's that, that is real so metal. what, what what's the brutal. difference that well, one's that's what just... crocodile dundee did in the movie oh, to yeah. make the cow sit down, down. that's, a, that's yeah, nickelback. Yeah. I'm, I'm nickelback. nickelback i'm a nickelback i'm a nickelback fan that is i'm at motley crew rock on heavy metal thrash metal any more tweets come uh, through? That's the tweets. Uh, Carmel Levine says, that is now my favourite version of Scrubs, the turn your phone thing. Michael Gosling says, yes, vertical video. No, I can get behind that. Uh, we also heard the buzz. Another great Perth show, says the Vic, which is very nice oh, of them. Very kind of you. Uh, and I'm looking for something a bit different here. No, lots and lots of stuff. Uh, Michael right. says, the buzz, this just encourage looking at your smartphone as soon as you get up in the morning. I yes, think that was Candice. Oh, Thank yeah, you for joining totally. us this evening. Thank you, Candice. Thank you, Paul. Um, We're out out of here. Thank you to the crew. We'll see you again next week. Don't forget to hashtag the buzz. <laughs> <laughs>